welcome everyone uh today is, i have another new episode and this is this is all about the malaysian economy especially malaysia has an interesting university they have very good educational hub university information technology malaysia is a one of one of that i have my friend from uitm she is young she is talent and most importantly uitm is a one of the largest university in malaysia where more than 140,000 students are studying there. So today we will learn about UITM, about entrepreneurship, and how actually Islamic finance and other things work. So I want to welcome my friend, uh, Shakira. Hi, Sharif. Yes, how are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm really glad that I can be part of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, most important thing is that uh, can you please introduce yourself and especially about your university? And I know you are youth leader. Uh, you have very good influence over youth community, young community. Uh, and uh, UITM is a, one of the largest university from the Muslim world. Can you please introduce you, you, uh, you and your university? All right, Sharif, I think you're giving me much credit and I deserve here. <laughs> By the way, thank you. Well, my name is Bibi Sakira. My friend used to call me Bibi. Um, I have a diploma in sports studies from UITM Shah Alam. And then I further my study in Bachelor of Creative Technology, majoring in Arts Industry Management from the Faculty of Film, Theatre and Animation. And then I'm currently pursuing my master in Master of Science in uh, majoring in sports business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So about UITM, um, UITM is one of the biggest uh, university in Malaysia. It have many branches all over the states. And then we have so many faculties. I couldn't remember all of the faculties, of course. I can remember some, but not all, unfortunately. And I think that's all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, I, I naturally visit your campus because from your Shahlom, uh, your campus and uh, my location is not so far. Naturally, I visit it. So uh, my point of view is that, like example, uh, but there are some issues. Like example, uh, uh, like Malaysia has. Can you he remember hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Uh, now I can only, now I can hear you. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Uh, especially from your sports science faculty and these things, uh, uh, like can you, can you explain about your departments, about uh, Malaysian youth and other things? Well, that is kind of a very broad questions, but I, will, um, I can tell you about my faculty. My faculty is Faculty of Sports Science and Recreation. We have uh, several branch. I mean, we have um, we have UITM Arau, we have UITM Jengke, UITM uh, Sarawak, and also the one at the Negeri Sembilan campus. And then we in this faculty we have two major. One is sport science and the other one is sport management. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, we have yes. to major. Okay, okay. Sport okay. science uh, and beside, sport management. Uh, beside that, I want to know about Malaysian youth, Malaysian youth community, because uh, at present situations, ex exactly Malaysia has many youth. I think around 50% people actually Malaysian, they are very youth and uh, mm -hmm. they have a good features because of uh, Malaysia has good infrastructures as well as Malaysia has good cultures and other things. How do you want to share the youth view uh, 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 and what's the youth perception in Malaysia? That is a very uh, good question, I believe. Okay, first of all, about the youth community, we have a different kind of backgrounds here. I mean, we have a community who pursues their uh, life more into academics, and then the others who pursue their life 
more towards surviving. Mm -hmm. So their views, I think, I don't think that I can speak on behalf of every youth, but from my perspective, personally, I believe that we are looking forward for a better future. Mm -hmm. Yes, Especially what does... What does mean the better future? You have to define your future. Let's say I am from other country. I come to Malaysia. I define my futures. I want to finish my PhD. Okay. I want to do business. Okay. So you have to define yourself, right? So uh, uh, yes. uh, that is the point I, I want to know that what, how you define your dream, how Malaysian local community define their dreams and how youth community actually thinks and define their thought and everything. Well, Sharif, as I've mentioned earlier, I don't think that I can speak on behalf of every youth in Malaysia. I do not want uh, to listen that 40, 40 million people. I, I say, okay, yeah, let's think I mean, about you. Um, let's just, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that I can only share from my perspective and my small circles of friends who are currently pursuing their studies into, I mean, who are into academic. So we would like to have a better future. What I mean by telling you that we want a better future is that each of us has their own goals. For example, me, myself, I'm currently doing research in sports business. So of course, I want to have a better, uh, better, I want Malaysia to have a better opportunities in sports business, especially because in here, we do not, we rarely focus on the business sides because when we talk about sports, we often talk about the competition itself, but we rarely talk about the science behind it. And the science behind the sports itself um, are quite broad. We have the sports science and we also have the management side. So my part is I'm researching and I'm studying on the business side. So I'm thinking maybe when i say that we have a better future especially in sports business is that we can have a proper and better branding i mean like maybe one day uh sports in malaysia have a place in the eyes of the world for example badminton badminton are quite known uh are quite known in the world around the world our badminton and then our football is getting is getting their place slowly going there slowly but surely going there and then rugby's and yeah i think that's all right mm -hmm. okay uh, like uh, how actually malaysian people like especially youth community can you hear me yes but not clearly yeah. can you hear me uh sorry come again uh, my question is that, can you explain how Malaysian people like sports and sports science and these things? Sorry, come again? I'm talking about Malaysian people, sports science and these things. Can you hear me? I, I hear you clearly. Sorry, I, no, no, I couldn't hear you clearly. It's like, hello? Yes, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I, I think my friend uh, she gonna join soon, and uh, and and I'm I'm just waiting for, uh, waiting for her. I think something's uh, uh, internet related problems and other things. Uh, so this is this is some sometimes it's happened when actually this kind of uh, online activities we are doing something something going on and something happening. So uh, basically in Malaysia, what I what I what I understand that. Uh, Malaysian youth has a very interesting approach, uh, especially Malaysian peoples and Malaysian local community. Uh, they love to um, join in uh, uh, different kind of uh, activities, especially sports. Uh, even there are many Chinese community, they do involve with business and other things. So uh, I'm just I'm just waiting for my friends. Uh, uh, if Ankit, uh, 
Uh, es I'm Bill Tresemont with IBM TV. On September 21st, 2020, IBM TV, along with our partners, will be celebrating World Peace Day. For me, this is a day of reflection, outreach, and mutual support as we think of and act in ways that we can build a better tomorrow for everyone who lives on this planet. So, I ask that you join us in celebrating World Peace Day. Remember, September 21st, 2020. Join us here on IBM TV. I'm Bill Tresvant with IBM TV, International Broadcast Media, on special assignment here from Hogwarts School, the school made famous by Harry Potter. I have this rare moment and opportunity to wear the sorting hat to see if there's any insight into the election that the sorting hat might provide us. Right now, this one of a kind experiment is ready to go. Hat, will you tell us who will win the election? Gryffindor! There you have it from Hogwarts School, a prediction for the presidential election. It's Gryffindor. I'm Bill Trezevant. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you. From IBM TV, international broadcast media, this is your report from Washington. There are 60 days left until the presidential election. While Trump has been on the campaign trail, a tentative agreement on federal funding between the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin was reached on Thursday. Both sides agreed to use a short-term funding bill to avoid a federal government shutdown at the end of September. While this is a step forward, the parties have not agreed on the length of time the funding will be extended. Stay tuned. On the campaign trail, in Kenosha, Wisconsin yesterday, Joe Biden promised to address a fundamental issue facing America. Biden stated, quote, we're finally now getting to the point where we're going to address the original sin in this country, slavery, and all the vestiges of it, end quote. Donald Trump, for his part, walked back his statements and encouragement to the voters of North Carolina to vote twice in the presidential election in the face of heavy backlash. Officials of both parties, as well as the elected officials in North Carolina, formed a united front in publicly rebuking Trump's statements. Trump, instead, wrote on Twitter that he was merely suggesting that those who vote by mail go to their polling station to check to see if their ballots had been counted. State officials rebuffed this notion as well, indicating that such actions would cause confusion on Election Day and possibly contribute to the spread of COVID-19. Twitter has placed cautionary flags on Trump's posts. In other news, there are no new developments regarding the comprehensive COVID-19 relief package or the post office bailout package. Separately, the Justice Department plans to file an antitrust suit against Alphabet, the parent company of Google and YouTube. Next, in India, 
Millions of students are taking their college placement exams, which will determine their futures. The JEE, or the Joint Entrance Examination, began on Tuesday and will go on until September 6th, while another competitive exam, the NEAT, that is, the National Eligibility, El Eligibility Come Entrance Test, will be held on the 13th of the month. Suffice it to say, we wish them all the best from IBM TV. Finally, the current COVID death toll from John Hopkins University is over 186,786 American souls lost and 867,593 global souls lost with no end in sight. That is your report for this day, September 4th, 2020, from IBM TV, International Broadcast Media, Smart Television, for a smarter global community, from dictatorships to democracies around the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Bill Trezevant.
Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Saiful. Can you please open your... Yeah. Yes, can you sit down, please? Yeah. Mr. Saiful, can you hear me? Sorry, dear audience. Actually, we are trying to... Uh... Yes, uh, Mr. Saiful, can, can you hear me? me? Yes, I'm hearing yeah, you. I can... I can hear you, yeah, but yes, bit, yes, you know, yes, yes, low. yes, yes. Okay, okay, I understand. I understand because, uh, yeah. So, uh, what's going on in Malaysia? Can you hear, share with me? You, I think you are, uh, uh, you are in uh, 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 in the outside of Malaysia. Can you share with me? So uh, basically, I'm trying to get uh, introduce uh, Mr. Saiful, and Mr. Saiful actually from Malaysia, and he is now uh, uh, like uh, like moving with the. Uh, he is actually working with Microsoft Malaysia, so uh, hopefully he will join with us and he will uh, introduce uh, some uh, corporate experience with us. Uh, Mr. Ankit, can you introduce? So basically, basically, in, uh, uh, sorry, dear audience, uh, because today we confirm uh, different peoples. We confirm different peoples from uh, different different places, but due to uh, due to internet connections and the, some other problem, I think uh, I don't know. From my house, I do not uh, face any problem. From my house, I do not face any problem, uh, but from my friends. Those who are joining with me, I think they are facing some problem. Beside that, uh, I already requested my other friend from Australia, my other friend from uh, Malaysia. Mr. Saiful, can you hear me? Can you unmute? Can you unmute, please? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Uh, Mr. Saiful, can you please uh, introduce yourself? Well, uh, I'm uh, Saiful Islam. Uh, basically, uh, I'm here in Malaysia last few years, and I am working here as a support consultant in a local company. And uh, yeah, so that's the thing for my side. Yes, yes, I understand. Like you wearing mask? Why are you wearing mask in? Uh, 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 like you are outside or shopping mall or yes, anywhere? But, yeah, yes. I'm so sorry because. Right now, I'm in shopping mall, unfortunately. No, no problem. And, um, no problem. Let's say, let's say everybody asking me uh, that they want yeah. to know the real situations of Malaysia. So in Malaysia, everything open, like example, uh, shopping mall, uh, food court, restaurant, office, everything open? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Everything is uh, open. But the thing is, everyone is, you know, you, you can see everyone is under an SOP. So they need to wear mask. And if they want to enter in shopping mall or anywhere, they have mm -hmm. to follow certain things like uh, the temperature and they have to entry uh, their name, everything. So mm -hmm. after that, they can enter everywhere. So okay. super everything open. Yeah. Okay. And one point, Mr. Saiful, uh, can, you, can you help us? I, I want to see what's going on in Malaysian shopping mall. Can you share your video with these shopping malls and other things? Yeah. So everybody wearing mask in Malaysia, right? When people go yeah, outside, yeah. they're wearing mask. Okay. I want to see, yeah. like, can you can you help me that how people can getting in shopping malls, how actually they collecting data and everything? Yeah, I think you can see. Yes. Okay. Yes, in what place you give your data and information and how they check your temperature and everything. Okay, can you can you help us to? I want to visit the Malaysian shopping mall. I want to visit the Malaysian shopping mall. Okay, so you want to visit? Yeah. Malaysian Hello. shopping mall. Can you help me to visit the shopping mall and everything? Because uh, right now, yeah, I'm moving. Okay, so. Okay, see. I just want to see the video. Just video of the shopping mall. Dear audience, you can you can check that. Uh, uh, this is in the economic schools, and there are, uh, 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 yes, uh, uh, Mr. Saiful, I, uh, can yeah. you help me? I want to visit whole shopping mall. Can you help oh, me to, 
Yes, I just okay. just help me. Yes, I want to see the whole shopping mall as well. Just yes. Give me, give me a minute. Okay, uh, dear audience, definitely yes. Just want to visit the whole shopping mall because people get idea what's going on. Please try to understand Malaysian people wearing mask. Uh, uh, Malaysian people wearing mask. So whenever I go outside, I have to wear mask as well as I have to utilize my data and information everywhere. Mr. Saiful, can you help us? I want to observe Malaysian shopping mall. Yes. I think Humaira and Ziaul Hokshek, uh, they are also joining with us. Can you see now? Yes, 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 yes. I want to, I want okay. to see. Can you, can you just walk and I want to see the shopping mall? So uh, with, uh, with me, I have uh, Mohammed Saiful Islam. He is from Microsoft, Malaysia. I have Jial Hokshek, Mr. Jial Hokshek. He is from Australia and uh, he is finished his PhD as well. Uh, as well as I have Humaira Tanzila. Humaira, actually, uh, she is also from uh, uh, Malaysia and uh, she is also doing her MBA in Malaysia. Yes. Uh, yes, Mr. Saiful, it's, it's a very good thing. Besides that, Humaira, can you share, uh, introduce yourself? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I cannot hear. Okay, can you hear me? I don't know what's the problem. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Jial Hakshik. Hello, Sharif, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my microphone. Actually, uh, I uh, what I'm um, uh, I mean, telling you, you can hear me, but I cannot hear you properly. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Jial Hockney, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing, yeah. I'm trying okay. to fix it up. I'm trying. Okay. Can you please introduce Mr. Jial Hockney? Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I, 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 as you told you, I have actually I have not finished my PhD yet. I just submitted my thesis and waiting for the review report, uh, review report on it. Uh, so, uh, it takes uh, time, most possibly another one, two months uh, like this. And so, and uh, I, also I am just uh, working as a uh, assistant professor in Jagannath University, Dhaka. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, can you uh, can you uh, introduce the uh, uh, like the like Australian situation right now? Uh, now the condition is improving, uh, particularly in uh, in Melbourne. Uh, previously, the condition uh, actually not good uh, in Melbourne, but uh, in just uh, this uh, this week the situation has improved and the 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 number of uh, the number has already been decreased, and it is expecting that uh, the curfew and other things may be extended for another two weeks uh, but uh, there will be some uh, the, the, the government state government will ease some restriction uh, most possibly in the next uh, it's on just uh, tomorrow that means sunday uh, the, the government is going to uh, announce uh, some ease for the people but um, just people are waiting for the next announcement what is uh, going to be announced Next yes, one, yes, yes. Or even one, two days. I understand. Mr. Saiful, can you hear me? Okay, okay. No problem. I think I think uh, side by side, uh, the Malaysia, what the situation in Malaysia, you can understand through this video, like especially in the shopping mall, you can see that everything is available in Malaysia. 
I think uh, price and everything under controls. And I have my friends who is trying to introduce the Malaysian present conditions. But Mr. Saiful, I want to see. Hello, Mr. Saiful. Okay. Umara, can you hear me? Umara, can you hear me? Okay, uh, I think I think Huma, Humara, you just continue. You just continue. I just discuss with Mr. Mr. Jial Hokshay. Okay, uh, Mr. Jia. Uh, so so okay, Malaysia uh, Australian situation now. Uh, you said that you, uh, curfew and other things happening, but what's the job market in uh, Australia right now, uh, and how actually Australian government support the local community? Yeah, this is uh, actually Australia is very well frustrated and they are providing support to the people. But uh, the job situation actually in Australia in um, last five, six months, as as it it has happened other part of the world. And so that, uh, this is very, uh, Australia, like other countries, also facing very tough situation because many, many people uh, have lost their job and... And, but uh, the thing is that the Australian government uh, has provided uh, several stimulus packages to the people, particularly those who are in the job. Um, they are, uh, they, uh, Australian government is providing job keeper stimulus packages um, and also job seeker and other uh, family welfare benefits they are serving to the people. Uh, and so they are trying, government is trying to uh, keep people uh, in a way that uh, people actually cannot get frustrated and uh, people can avail the job when the situation will, will be improved. And also like, uh, mm, uh, because in Australia, the, 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 the thing is that Australia has developed a very systematic, a systematic way uh, to uh, diffuse their welfare benefit to the people. So they are using their, that system. And also, like Australian government also has announced announced uh, several uh, economic assistance for those people who want to increase their skills. Um, those who have lost job, and also, uh, if any people think that they want to change their job arena, so there there is also fun to uh, enrich their skills in other field and other area to get get new job or to. Uh, new skill so mm -hmm. this is uh, the, I, I think government has uh, has taken very good initiative in, 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 mm -hmm. in the context of COVID yes. situation yes, yes. Uh, what I know that you have a very good experience in global diplomacy and global political issues you have good understanding about that what do you, what do you think about the uh, 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 Malaysia, uh, Australia, ASEAN future. What do you think? Asia Pacific future. Beside that, I just want to add, uh, dear audience, one of my friend, Mama Saiful Islam, he is uh, actually doing job for Microsoft. And beside that, he is trying to uh, introduce ourselves, the Malaysian local markets. What's going on? Everybody ask me, do they wear mask? What's the local market conditions and other things? So uh, from my side, I request him that can we get some real life because every time we are just sitting in the studio and we are discussing on the different perceptions so what i try to understand the real example of australian market um, um, malaysian market and most important thing is that by this way you can understand that how actually malaysian shopping malls and other things even everything they are continuing uh, 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 very well and everybody actually very disciplined in malaysia they uh, wearing their mask and uh, they maintain uh, uh, all of the SOP and everything when they go outside. So you can you can get some uh, interesting views and everything's about the Malaysian inside market, local market, local local shopping mall. So, Humaira, can you hear me? Uh, can you please unmute? Yes, can you hear me? Ashari, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I am. I am hearing you. Can you please? Finally, yes, I can. You... Finally, I'm able to fix it. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Um, uh, I'm sorry that my microphone was not working properly. Um, good. Uh, hello. 
Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Saiful, uh, Saiful, please continue it. We want to observe Malaysian market, even how actually Malaysian people wearing masks, how they maintain SOP, wh what's the product price, what's the market price, uh, what's going on in the shopping mall, we want to see it. Yes, uh, Mr. Saiful, please help us. And Humaira, please introduce yourself. Yes, yes, uh, I'm Humaira Tanzila. I live in Malaysia. It's more than uh, five years. I'm mm -hmm. I'm um, studying MBA here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So actually, what you learn from Malaysia? What Malaysian people do? Uh, actually, to tell in short, Malaysia is a very peaceful country. Uh, it's my observation. They are mm -hmm. very disciplined. Uh, while the COVID uh, I mean pandemic. Um, situation came here uh, they follow the rules and regulation perfectly mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that's it yes yes uh, thank you ba basically for this show uh, i'm i'm introducing muhammad saiful islam he's from microsoft so he is helping us today about the malaysian local sop and local market situation and everything we have mr jial hawk he is actually assistant for professor from jagannath university bangladesh but now he lives in australia melbourne and we have humaira tanzila uh, and she is actually uh, uh, from bangladesh but she is also a student in Malaysia, she is doing he, uh, her MBA. Uh, so, okay, I want to directly want to go to uh, Mr. Jial Hokshe. Uh, so, what do you think? What will happen the Asia Pacific economy and other things? What your observation? In terms of global diplomacy, actually, <clears throat> even before uh, Corona or COVID situation uh, starting uh, in uh, January or February, uh, there is a tense situation around the world. And this COVID situation actually has uh, increased that tension. Um, for example, uh, like uh, there was a competition even before before COVID, there was a China and USA trade competition, and also USA is trying to push India, uh, and, and also USA is using uh, India as a uh, pivotal state uh, against China, and. And in India also has concern because China is increasing its sphere, in, its sphere of influence in the Asia Pacific region. And so Australia in this context actually is favoring US's position. And there is a alliance between uh, India, China, India, USA, Japan, and Australia. And because uh, Australia, like other countries like India, Japan, and even USA, Australia is also concerned because the Chinese penetration into the uh, Asia Pacific, uh, they think Australia, uh, they are thinking in a way that it also create problem for Australia too. Uh, so um, in COVID situation, uh, even after COVID situation, there was a huge debate, uh, debate actually that how the, why the virus has originated, how, uh, it has been originated. Um, uh, and USA has claimed that uh, there is a conspiracy theory and like this. And all, Australia also just uh, has uh, pushed the motion that the, about the origination, about the origin of uh, coronavirus. Uh, and I think uh, uh, all, uh, World Health Organization has formed an inquiry committee and Australia has played a leading role uh, in forming uh, that inquiry committee. Um, and that's why that there is a, also a tension between China and Australia because uh, China actually was unhappy about the Australian initiative in uh, in uh, fostering the uh, in fostering that negotiate uh, 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 that uh, inquiry committee in uh, in, in um, by the World Health Organization. So, so the world scenario uh, in the context of Asia Pacific, um, like. If you see in the Middle East or uh, Mediterranean Sea and other parts of the world, there is also tension between Turkey, Greece, and Libya. In even in the Muslim world, there is also tension going on because there is a split. Uh, the uh, United Arab Emirates they recognized Israel, and 
Saudi Arabia and other states, there is a fraction even because the Pakistan, Turkey, uh, they are they are just they are taking even even Malaysia, including Malaysia, they are taking on side. On, on the other hand, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and, and Bahrain and other states, they are also taking uh, other position. So, like other part of the world, the Asia Pacific region, uh, there is a competition between the China and other other countries like Australia, uh, Japan, India, and uh, even uh, USA has a great interest in the Asia Pacific and they want a free China free Asia Pacific region. So uh, in future, uh, in future, um, it will be a very uh, critical situation, I think. But uh, the interstate relationship uh, among uh, uh, the countries of Asia Pacific, uh, still now there is a good interstate relationship, like um, the relationship between Malaysia and Indonesia, even Singapore and other countries, uh, they have uh, a good relationship. And unlike SARC, because SARC is not now uh, working properly, but uh, ASEAN is working uh, properly. ASEAN, I think um, that this organization uh, is contributing a lot in uh, in economic cooperation among the ASEAN countries. So there is a hope, there is, a, there is some sort of stability, but the competition and the China's access to the Pacific, Asia Pacific region and alliance and counter alliance uh, for and against China. Actually, in future, there is a huge, uh, I think, uh, dispute is arising in the context of South Asian region. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Humara, can you hear me? Can you unmute yourself? Yes, uh, Humara. I just I just want to want to know the women situations uh, right now right now in uh, Malaysia. I think uh, another of my friend, Mr. Khalid Pavel. Khalid, can you hear me or I cannot? Oh hi. Properly, yes. Can you open your uh, uh, video, please? Hello. Yes. Can you open your video, please? Actually. Yeah. Are you asking me to open the cam? Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just, uh, just, just. Yes. Uh, yes. Another another of my friends, uh, he is Mr. Khaled Abel. Uh, he is also young young politicians and uh, young people. So he gonna join. Uh, Pavel, uh, can you can you? Okay, Umara, can you please introduce uh, uh, like what are the situations Malaysian women empowerment uh, and other. Actually, a woman, uh, Malaysian a minute, woman, uh, they are uh, independent. Uh, basically, it's a uh, female-dominating country. Actually, females are working um, equally. Um, and they are, um, as far as uh, my understanding, they are very hardworking. Sometimes uh, I saw that many of the women can play a vital role in their family development. Um, so overall, a uh, woman's situation in Malaysia is uh, very, I um, mean, very um, encouraging uh, because it's a uh, Malaysia is a developing country. So overall situation is uh, very um, good enough. Yes, I understand. Uh, uh, Mr. Jia Roksek, you are talking about the relationship in Asia, especially the China, India and USA relationship you are talking about. Like example, can you please share that why actually at present situation, uh, like this triangle relationship uh, play a very important role uh, for uh, developing economies and other things? Can you, can, can you that share some of the inner insight of these things? Yes. Yeah. Uh, which one actually uh, there is no interrelationship in the ca current context actually uh, is very difficult to assess the relationship between China, US and India because uh, China and India in one hand and uh, with, uh, Ch China and USA in one hand and 
um, uh, uh, sorry, India and USA in one hand and China uh, on the uh, other, other hand. So there is a great competition between these three countries. The thing is that uh, China, China is telling that uh, they, uh, uh, they have taken initiative to construct the uh, um, uh, BRI and uh, according to them, this project will help immensely uh, South Asia, Asia Pacific and other region uh, to, uh, 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 to increase their economic connectivity among the countries. And also, uh, it not only it it not only benefits uh, China, but also it benefits other countries uh, of Asia, uh, Asia and also even uh, Eastern Europe and other other part of the world. So, but uh, the thing is that the why India and uh, USA they are not accepting the China rise because uh, there is a in in, in IR. There is a great debate actually the, about the intention of the great power. We don't actually know the proper intention of the of China, or even we don't know the intention of other state, like grand strategy of other states. It's very difficult to understand the grand st strategy of uh, great powers. Like there is a possibility of economic cooperation, there is a possibility of economic connectiveness, but also there is a possibility of economic and political influence in the South yes, Asian yes. And yes. That includes the China. I will, yes, I will come back to you. I have in my another new guest because uh, 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 Mr. Ka uh, Pavel, can you hear me? Can you unmute yourself? Oh, yes, I'm with yes, you. Yes. Yeah. Pavel, I, actually, I, I want to know because you know you are now in IBM TV. Uh, it's a, one of the fastest growing television channel uh, from USA. Uh, uh, this is uh, Sharif School of Economics. We will discuss on that. But uh, important thing, thing is that their audience, like uh, I always I always say politics is something which is help you to uh, grow yourself and grow your community. So Mr. Pavel actually from the political background, his father was a very influential politician from Bangladesh, but unfortunately his father died for COVID-19. So uh, I, want to, I want to hear this story because his father was a very popular political leader. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Kalek, Advocate and, Kalek. Uh, and uh, he, he has a very influential positions in Bangladesh. No, no, no. Uh, but unfortunately, no, no. Uh, from Bangladesh, many people, even India and many countries, people are dying right now. I want to listen this history from Mr. Pavel. Pavel, can you please introduce yourself? And we want to know about your father and how your father died. And what's the condition right now in Bangladesh? Well, good afternoon. Uh, this is Khaled, M. Khaled Pavel from Bangladesh. Uh, thanks for, for inviting me on this show. Um, first of all, the present situation of Bangladesh and all over the world is not good right now. Uh, I would like to say for Bangladesh, Bangladesh, you know all that developing country, and for this reason, we used to try to protect ourselves. We used to stay at home early a few months ago, but nowadays, we can't stop ourselves to go outside. As long as you know that Bangladesh is having so many problems, like uh, if we don't go outside, we cannot eat because most of the people are here like that day labor. Sometimes uh, we have to go. So nowadays the pandemic is, uh, is a big issue in Bangladesh. And we are facing a big problem in Bangladesh right now. Like we have to go outside, we have to go for work. So that uh, our courts were closed earlier. Later on, the government uh, asked to go for online or virtual court, whatever you say. As my dad used to be a lawyer, uh, it's a shocking matter for me and for my family. On last 29th of uh, August, uh, September, uh, August, my dad has passed away from, from us on 29th last month. So he was affected on COVID-19 and the situation in Bangladesh is not good. And 
we supposed to go out because the government said like we have to go to the court and we have to sit for virtual uh, courts so for for that reason he went for a uh, court virtual court and from that place my dad has been affected on covid-19 and after 13 days of treatment he passed away from us so i'm so sorry for that uh, and the, you are asking me to tell me the present situation of bangladesh right now so Especially this is system. one of the reason so this is one of the reason that because you know as i said bangladesh is a uh, like a very growing country but it's a developing country like other countries like usa or canada or uh, uk uh, the government is helping to the people or they are giving some extra money to the people to uh, survive but for bangladesh government is not that much possible to help to our people because as we don't have that much uh, money so that's why people are going outside my, my dad used to be a an a politician and 1978 as long as yeah and the, the he used to be the part of bangladesh nationalist party and the started of this party my dad used to start his journey from the starting of that party and in his life he tried to help people from his uh, political side from from his uh, professional life even because as you know very well my dad uh, used to be an a lawyer he used to be a lawyer and from that part he tried to help the uh, poor people and those people who are not getting the proper justice so my dad always tried to help this kind of people always and he used to be a politician and he used to be elected local government uh, chairman even and these five years he tried to, for five years he used to be a local government chairman and these five years he tried to help the poor people and he tried to uh, develop the infrastructure of the schools and college even the madrasa and the other other social sides where he can do and he used to do he did a lot for these sides and he always said to me that you have to live alive inside of people's heart and that's what he did because uh, on last month 29th of last month he died and, and after that i'm getting so much so many messages so much a uh, call so many calls and i have seen so many status on facebook and people are crying for him and after that i came to know that yes my dad said you have to alive in people's heart after you're dead and but he did for that and i'm getting emotional for that cuz i just lost my dad my dad used to be very smart and he used to help people a lot and what else i can say what else i can say yeah, can, no i i i really <laughs> dear audience but please try to understand the pain of a family that those who have uh, they, they lose their family member because of covid they have lot of pain not only economical problem they have lot of emotional engagement and other things so in that covid situation actually please 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 everybody wear your mask please follow the way that how the do local doctors and the governments and the, uh, they say that you have to follow this kind of sop please follow here i you already visit that malaysia everybody malaysia everybody following sop we do not have even even today you observe that uh, in a in a shopping mall everybody has to wear mask they have to be very disciplined and they have to be uh, very concerned that how how they have to move because life is very important because i know personally uh, 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 mr khalek uncle he he was a tremendous political leader he has a very good impact on the local community and development but still uh, like yes uh, after after he passed away his family actually uh, facing lot of challenges so uh, my my respect and the global community respect and love always always with the family member those who uh, lose their family member because of covid 19 i want to directly want to go to humaira tanzila humaira can you unmute yourself and can you please uh, share something that how your observations about malaysian present conditions uh, uh, in covid period actually uh, at first i would like to say that we are very sorry for your loss 
we are praying for uh, your father's departed soul. Actually, the thing here, I'm in COVID situation. Malaysia control very well. It's highly appreciable. And people are, um, as I uh, told you earlier, that people are following the rules and regulations set by the government. Everybody should wear the face mask. Uh, maintain the proper, uh, I mean, uh, the proper hygiene. Uh, first, they, uh, when we enter any shopping mall, we have to uh, write our name uh, or alternatively uh, uh, scan our mobile. Then um, the, I mean, hygiene, the disinfected spray um are using in every shopping mall we have to use that then uh, we can enter oh uh, one more thing uh, we need to um, check our temperature then we are um, allowed to enter the shopping mall so okay. uh, these things they are maintaining uh, i hope that uh, malaysia will uh, in future um, maybe they will <laughs> Uh, overcome the situation properly. Okay, okay thank you. Uh, Mr. Jian uh, you, you are coming uh, uh, with some of the interesting idea of uh, uh, geopolitics. So can you can you please uh, like continue your, your thought about the India, China and USA relationship on economical context? Uh, Mr. Jian Hoxet, please unmute yourself. Uh, as I uh, as I started earlier, that uh, there is a in in the context of China war. If uh, um, China used to say that the BRI his its BRI project may uh, enhance the economic connectivity among the South Asian countries and. Um, also, it enjoys, uh, increase the cooperation among the South Asian states because it is a huge infrastructural development and South Asian people uh, or Asian people, uh, they will benefit uh, from this project and infrastructural development. But uh, on the other hand, uh, some scholars, uh, uh, even there is an example, uh, an evidence experiment, uh, uh, evidence that uh, there is a, also a, a deep trap actually because uh, in the context of sri lanka uh, they they took uh, uh, in developing their uh, seaport and also uh, airport and other infrastructural development they invested there but unfortunately uh, sri lanka uh, did not use uh, those infrastructure uh, infrastructure properly and also uh, uh, they did not uh, um, manage that debt uh, properly so that's a, so it is said that there is a de uh, it is a on kind of debt trip by china uh, to establish a sphere of influence uh, not only economic in sphere of influence but also political sphere of influence uh, among south asian countries and other other asian countries so, uh, and also like uh, it, it is also said that china uh, is using Pakistan against uh, India uh, because there is a uh, there is also a land conflict boundary conflict between China and India, and since uh, there is a contention between uh, Pakistan and India, so China is uh, using Pakistan, and so there is a there is a both sides like there is a some positive things, there are some negative things, so. The thing is that how we we will use their money, how we will use their uh, economic uh, project, BRI or like this. It, the benefit actually depend on that things. And um, I would like to express my condolences to Khaled Dad. It's really pathetic. It's very difficult to bear. May Allah grant him Jannat. And it's very actually it's it's not bearable. Um, to yes. Laws and everybody, and thank you all. And I, I'd like and thank you for inviting me in this. Yes, yes. Thank you, uh, Mr. Pavel. Like as you lose your father, that you have to uh, yes. fill up the gap of your fathers because uh, you are also a uh, from a political background. So, how, what do you think? What's your visions 
uh, even economical aspect, how do you want to build up Rajbari? What's your objective? Can you share with me? Well, oh, thank you very much. Uh, well, my dad used to try to develop the social and economical development in Rajbari. And I would like to follow the same way as we have to develop the infrastructural uh, development of uh, like some educational sector and even some uh, health sector. Like in Rajwari, we don't have that much uh, good medical hospital. Even some equipments where we need to add it in the hospital. Like uh, if someone is really uh, injured or something very serious, we have to ship them in Dhaka. So my first focus would be in uh, health sector. We have to develop this health sector. If someone is very much injured, uh, we don't want to shift anyone from Rajbari to Dhaka. We love to help them or treatment, give them treatment in Rajbari. We have to uh, develop this side. And uh, most, mostly I could say like uh, Rajbari's people are uh, more or less more of them uh, like are educated. But we have to think more on this side. And at the end, we have to think about the economical side. Like in Rajbari, we don't have that much uh, uh, like industrial uh, project. Like once the people are poor in your area, we have to develop the in, uh, economical side. So once we can, we can be able to develop the economic, economical side, like we have to build up some industries so that the workplace will create. So people will be able to work in these places and they can earn money and they can survive easily. So if we want to develop people's life, we have to think in this side as well. So I would like to try from my side to develop raspberries, uh, some industrial or economical side, then health side, and then also the educational side as well. So we have to work on an another side, which is a, a big, uh, like big, what I can say, big problem for Bangladesh, which is drug, drug addiction in youth. So we have to tell them or we have to throw the information to the youth that we have to wear whatever drug. Drug is not good for anyone. Drug, maybe as for a certain time, it makes a relaxation or giving them some pleasure. But at the end of the day, drug is really harmful for that person, for his family for his social people and end of the day for the country. Because once someone is drug addicted, they are totally uh, balanced lace or they don't have uh, any consciousness. So if we can stop drug addiction from our society, from our youth, then we can get a change in our society. Because I believe in youth. Only youth can change a society. So if the youth is free and strong, and uh, youth is not getting any drug, that time the youth can do his 100% for the society. So I would like to help to work or help to increase uh, the awareness in the society to get some more awareness for the youth. So this kind of work is in my mind. If uh, I would like to work for this side in future for my Rajbari, and I believe if you work for your village or for your community and some other your, other of your friend is working for his community or for his village, if we, ask, if we are each of us working for our village or community only, and like this way, we can cover whole country, we can cover whole area. So we just need to think like individually, I will work for my area. Some other friend should think about this, that he will work for his area. So like this way, we can cover whole country or whole district or whole area. So this is my message to all youth. Avoid drug. Try to think about your uh, country, your family. You have to love yourself. You have to love your uh, family. Then you can love your country. And all together, all of us can together uh, get a progress, get a, a good result for our country, inshallah. Thank you. Uh, Humaira, can you give us a concluding remark for today's sessions? Uh, and dear audience, I'm really, really extremely sorry because today's sessions, uh, many of our guests join 
and uh, due, due to internet connections and other things we have to face some problem but i want to really really uh, uh, give thanks to today's guest uh, in a short period of um, uh, notice everybody join and uh, thank you ibm tv this basically ibm tv is a very good television they have a very effective team from around the world and now it's promoting 100 countries and hopefully we will work together and we will build up a very good ecosystems and very good community uh, with the help of IBM TV. So Humara Tanzila, please give us the concluding remarks. Okay, thank you, uh, Sherry. So, uh, so, uh, actually, uh, I would like to uh, thank um, IBM TV for inviting me today at the station. We learn uh, and uh, exchanging our shares through this platform. At the same time, uh, the whole world is facing a challenge nowadays. So um, uh, it's it's a very good um, session that we can um, uh, learn many more things from this session. So I would like to say everyone, please be safe and follow the rules and regulation. Nowadays, we are facing many kind of challenge. So uh, try to <clears throat> protect yourself, protect your family. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pavel. Uh, uh, so, so I, I know, I know your pains, and because I also lose my father, so I even even uh, I know your pains. I know how your family politically not only politically how you involve with the local people uh, community especially uh, mr khalek has a huge influence with the uh, uh, with the peoples and i think millions of peoples actually his follower uh, in politics and he has a very good heart and i am really really sorry that you lose your father and the whole, but but now you have a bit more responsibility you have to do uh, for your uh, for your country you have to do take care of your family and you have to do a lot of other things and my prayer always with you and ibm tv always with the peoples those who do better job those who do good jobs for the peoples so mr uh, pavel can you please give us the concluding remarks and uh, what you want to say uh, with this ibm television uh, thank you very much thank you very much ibm tv for uh, making this kind of show uh, i would like to request all of you to join our show in future and everyone please pray for my dad as long as i can see my dad it was a very good person i can't explain my uh, like emotion even because if you come in rajwadi then you can see trust me each and every one like even those are not from my dad's party they are crying and they're praying for my dad so i would like to request all of you to pray for my dad for his uh, deeper soul and I would like to ask everyone to be aware, to wear a mask, uh, to keep distance, uh, social distance. And once you are going out, you have to be very careful. You have to, once you touch something, you must sanitize your hand and try to protect protect yourself. Only awareness, awareness can save us. Yes, Thank this is important. Much. This is important. Only awareness, awareness, and awareness can save us. Please wear your mask. Protect yourself, not only protect yourself, protect your family. Okay, family. this is very important. And uh, all, always people say politicians has this problem, that problem. But I said, no, there are many people, those who are contributing a lot uh, for, uh, for the local community. Uh, uh, according to my knowledge, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Khalek was that kind of person. And he was really respectable for in political arena both of the government opposition for everyone so i request everyone please wear wear your mask be disciplined follow all of the sop what your government said what your doctor said whatever you say, uh, uh, we, we are talking about man do not do not do not uh, uh, lose hope because without hope we cannot survive thank you mr pavel uh, for joining with us thank you humaira joining with us uh, as well as in a short period of notice those who joining today's session i really want to give thanks and thank you ibm tv ibm tv always with the good people always with the much people those who are facing challenge right now thank you everyone thank you thank uh, you sheriff thank you thank ibm you. thank you